Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. In today's video, I did a look to, you know, fit the video theme, which I'm kind of feeling I never really do this, but like, it's what I would do if I had the collection we're talking about today. But today we are talking about the My Gimble Romance in collaboration with Hip Dot Palettes collection drop launch everything that went down last week. Now I know this is old news, but I'm not over it. Honestly, I'm not over it. I'm very upset. And so we're going to talk about everything that happened on launch day, as well as something I find very suspicious about the pricing and how things were handled for this launch. Of course, these are my own personal theories, opinions, allegedly, blah, 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 blah. Don't sue me. It's just my own personal thoughts. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So I'm a huge My Chemical Romance fan. I think a lot of us are. And I'm exactly the target demographic this palette collection was launched for. Now, this is the like picture we saw when we first got it announced. It was also announced on um, My Chemical Romance's social media. Like, it was dropping originally. It was like an eyes hint. And then it was found out that it was a hip doc collaboration. And I feel like all of us emo kids lost our crap. I mean... Okay, just for the record, I'm not just like, oh, I love my chemical romance. Like, I love my chemical romance. I have a little Gerard in the background of every one of my videos. I have one my chemical romance tattoos. I already have plans for my second one. Like, I love them. I've seen them live one time back when they did a tour with Blink-182. Um, like, it was, it was after the Danger Days came out, so I feel like it was probably like nine years ago or so. And then I was that person waiting for four hours on Ticketmaster's website to get the tickets for the 2020 tour that didn't happen so yeah i love my couple garments it's my thing they were my number three band for the year of 2020 my spotify playlist like i love them okay i love them it's what i listen to all the time but this launch a lot of people when you looked through the post before this actually did launch were like why is this a thing and i totally get that i do think why is this a thing makes sense now my chemical romance is a band that wore a lot of makeup back in its heyday especially around three tears of sweet revenge black parade era kind of towards danger days they kind of calmed down on the makeup as much but they were known for like a lot of makeup and especially like this look right here is something a lot of people when they think of this look they're gonna think my chemical romance is just very iconic so i get they have iconic things and it makes sense for a makeup collection however i do see what everyone else was saying about like not everything needs to be a makeup collaboration. I understand. I am definitely that person. Like, why do we need a crayon makeup collection? Why do we need, I don't know, every celebrity having a makeup brand? I totally get it. But at the same time, my little, people say, Stan, heart. Like, of course, <laughs> I still wanted it and I still needed it. I will see her complain about random makeup products and then be like, but this one's for me and then love it. So yeah, <laughs> I totally get what everyone was saying. But all of us who love the band and have loved them forever, we're going to buy this collection. And everyone knew that anything My Chemical Romance will sell out. And they're right. For good reason. For good reason. It's good stuff. But this collaboration was a collaboration with Hip Dot. Hip Dot has a lot of other collaborations. They don't really have too many of their own signature products. They have some things like palettes and stuff. They're just Hip Dot brand. But they're really known for doing collaborations. And if you hear noises, it is the cat eating. But... They're really known for collaborations, like their biggest one right now is Spongebob. They have like a Spongebob glitter palette and all that. They have a bunch of collaborations on their website if you want to check them out and see what they do. But Hip Dot, again, is just like they take licenses for stuff and make stuff. So I get why this was a My Chemical Romance thing. There would be like other brands that I would love to see this collaboration with more like Urban Decay. Like the iconic little gash red eyeshadow Gerard used <laughs> back in the day that every emo kid bought. I feel like Urban Decay would have been a great, like great collaboration with My Chemical Romance. I feel like that would have been amazing. And they would have made a lot more product too. I don't know why Hip Dot got this deal unless they reached out first and it sounded good. So I get that, um, but I don't think it's the ideal brand to collaborate with. So it's probably why this failed so terribly. So let's go ahead and start talking about pricing and pricing issues that I see just from posts online originally. Now this first thing was a huge pricing issue that I noticed before the thing even launched. So the collector's bundle would be a box and a pin inside of it with the three items from this collection. The eyeshadow palette retails for $24. The eyeliner brush or the eyeliner, double-sided eyeliner is $12 and the brush is also $12. So $24, $12, and $12 is $48. They were selling the box set for $64. Normally a set you buy the whole collection is a discounted price. Now you're paying an extra $12 to buy it all together. 
and not everyone's gonna get a pin. It's only if you order in the first 72 hours, you can get like an extra pin with your order or something. Obviously, the note was gonna sell out before 72 hours. Don't even lie to me, hit about you knew it was gonna sell out, okay? <laughs> you knew it was gonna sit, you knew it was gonna sell out. Okay, but why is it the pricing? This is actually from Dupe That's page. Dupe That was posted from Hip Dot. Hip Dot gave Dupe That the rights to do the first swatches and everything on this, and they directed them to Dupe That's page for information since they had a lot of information on their page beforehand. So the retail value of these items was $48. They're selling the bundle set for $64. Why is it extra money? What about having a box? Is the extra $12? I feel like that's kind of scammy to be honest. Just my own personal opinion, I feel like it's a little scammy. Like, why are you paying an extra $12 for a box and a pen? When you go to Hot Top and get a pen for like five bucks. And a lot of people didn't want the pen, you know? Like, it's only if you order within a certain amount of time that you were going to get it anyways. So, if you bought, let's say it didn't sell out and you bought it without, without the first 72 hours or whatever, you were going to buy $12 for the box. You're not even getting a pen out of it. You're just getting a box for $12. I don't understand that pricing situation. Now that the updated posts have been on hip dots page i've seen the updated pricing on this for the pre-order prices the pre-order prices the palette is now 26.90 and the liner the brush is not being restocked the liner is 14.90 so we went from 24 and 12 to 27 and 15 for the prices of these products why the prices went up i'm not sure they did have the pre-order for the whole box not the products individually these products sold out completely they were like this is it buy it if you want it now and now after it's sold out they're saying that they're going to be on hot topics website where the liner is already there just not available to purchase not the palette and then ulta's website where i haven't seen anything updated up there yet and i would like to say that even the brand before we get to like the breakdown of the launch sucking so freaking bad the brand was not the one who initially gave the information saying we will be at hot topic and Ulta sites at some point without a date because we still don't have a date for that but we did see Hot Topics sold out option for the liner currently on their website so it was actually Dre I will leave her information right here she did it on her TikTok she also shared some information on her Instagram I believe I saw it on her TikTok but she's beautiful give her a follow she actually reached out to HipDot and got more information about this since everyone was bummed out about the launch and was the one who told us about it coming to Ulta and Hot Topics website at some point, generally. So even HipDot did not have this information, and they were not willing to share this information with us at the time. This was selling out constantly. So let's talk about launch day. Now we got the pricing being weird and it going up in price. So launch day, it was launching at 3 p.m. my time. So I'm three hours behind, so it was going to launch at noon California time, so I don't know which one you were on, but I was here an hour beforehand waiting, right? Like, <laughs> my boyfriend and I went out for ramen, and it came like 1.45. I was like, we have to leave. Order the ramen to go. Like, we're sitting in the restaurant waiting for ramen. Like, can you throw us in the go box? We gotta go. So, I was here an hour beforehand waiting for this. Had everything open. Was logged into Afterpay, because they had Afterpay on their website, which did not work on this launch day, for the record. They didn't say that on their information beforehand, but Afterpay was not an option. When you were checking out, if you're not gonna allow op if you're not gonna allow afterpay for launch day, that's cool. But let people know beforehand instead of flooding their site with things people can't afford to buy 100% at the time. So let people know if you're not gonna like support afterpay on a launch day. That'd be great. So I'm on that thing an hour beforehand. I have the all the products pages, like the products page that says all products pulled up as well as the home page. Now we went on to 3 p.m. where it is launch time. There was nothing on their site. I was refreshing both pages constantly scrolling down to the bottom of the products page, refreshing their home page over and over again to find nothing. I was checking their Instagram and people were saying it's not up, it's not up, it's not up, it's not live. Where is it? We didn't know. Eventually I saw one comment as I was refreshing about 15 minutes later that said, that you had to search for it you could find it and the only thing on the search you could actually find was the liner that was the only product you could find during the search if you searched NCR in the collection you could not find the palette you could not find the full bundle you could not find the brush you could only find the liner and it was already sold out that's the only thing you could search and find at the time of launch um, so most of us apparently some people got it which is great good for them I'm happy for them I really hope the people who got it were people who actually enjoy the banner not just trying to resell it because if I see these products ship out and I see a whole bunch of people overpricing them and selling them for double the price on like Poshmark and stuff 
I, you know, I'm going to want to break their necks. Sorry, it is what it is. Like, I don't, I don't, I hate people scalping things. Like, the last time I saw a messy, messy launch like this was the Conspiracy Palette with Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, which was just like a crashing of the website, not because they didn't have any stock, you know? It was like something that sold out. They had a lot of issues with the website, but that was the last messy launch that I saw, honestly. Other than the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure collaboration, because I heard a lot of people had a long time checking out with that one too. But those were website issues. I've never seen a brand not post a launch on their website and have it sold out. <laughs> like, it never popped up on their homepage. It took an hour and they popped up on their homepage as a sold out second pre-order that you could do, even they weren't planning on doing a pre-order. The original collection and everything never showed up on their website. For a couple people, you could search it and find it. Most of us, you searched it after like they never put it up and you could find like the liner, which I've seen most people find. If you were able to do this collection, comment down below. I'm happy for you. But most people did not ever see this on their website. It was never on their products page. It was not searchable and it was never on their homepage, which is freaking stupid and not fair. Honestly, like a lot of people are going to be crap saying and complaining about this whole thing, situation too long and I don't care, okay? That's why I've been holding back from making this video for a long time. People are going to think I'm petty and just sad that I missed out on it. But honestly, it's just handled improperly. What is up with the mismanaged pricing of it? And like show it on your website page like it's not that hard hip dot and guess i'm never getting on that pr list and i don't care okay i mean i care a little bit if they make another mcr collection but that's the only thing i care about honestly so i bought the second order of pre-orders by the time i got to the pre-order checkout it kicked me and i was on the second pre-order checkout for the end of march early april i believe i got that um i did sign up for the email list the day beforehand so i knew i was gonna do this so i got it for like 57.90 and it won't be here till like april ish but i signed up for the emails the day beforehand because i was ready for this launch you guys that never showed up on the page i was devastated okay and then when i saw that it never showed up on the page i had to do some digging into why and the only thing i can find is that they made a very minimal amount of stock and they only pushed the products to a searchable page for some users, especially users, it seems to be on like the California end. It seems like users on that end got more of an option to search it and find it, but never showed up on any product page. So I feel like that's strange, honestly. So if they could explain how they managed to have no pallets, do two pre-orders and not tell us that it was coming to Ulta, and hot topic because maybe if we knew it was coming to Ulta and Hot Topic without having an influencer tell us, we wouldn't have to pre-order it beforehand. We could wait till it goes on those sites to buy it. Which is something I feel like is really scammy too. They want all of our money immediately, so they do all these pre-orders telling us this is the only way we're getting it. And then when the pre-orders sell out too is when they tell us it'll go to other websites. They should really be handling the people that bought this now instead of worrying about going to other retailers it shouldn't be expanding to other retailers without giving people the product that they paid for beforehand you know like unless this product doesn't come out in stores in let's say may of 2021 they shouldn't be promoting it on their on the other platforms it should not be already be sold out on hot topics website they should take care of the people who ordered it on their site initially without them ever saying it was going to other retailers so that's my rant, you guys. <laughs> also, I feel like the shade names could have been better. You know, I feel like the shade names could have been better. Also, I could have, like, I kind of would like to redesign this myself a little bit. Like, I get the color scheme. I feel like it's very fitting. There's a couple little things I would change about it, personally, but I still need it. Like, I still need it. Would I use the product all the time? Probably not, but, like, well, I'd probably use the eyeliner all the time and the brush. But would I use the reds and the blacks all the time? Probably not, but, like, some of us have been in love <laughs> with that album on the cover for years and years and years. I mean, Danger Days has been out for 10 years now. Three Tears to Sweet Revenge was the first album I ever, like, fell in love with. Well, I fell in love with two albums the first time. So, I mean, it was From Under the Court Tree from Fall Out Boy and Three Tears to Sweet Revenge and Dookie from Green Day. Those were, like, my first albums that I was, like, in love with, but... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this hip dot collaboration fiasco. Why is the pricing different? Why was it never on their home page to purchase? And why did they let us pre-order it without telling us it'll go to other retailers first? So, a lot of questions for you, hip dot. I don't like you whatsoever. So, I will see you guys later. Have a great and safe day wherever you are. Bye, Killjoys.
it was, it was kind of cringe calling people killjoys and like from like 10 years ago <laughs> i don't care